What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel for this real quick video and today I'll be talking about how strong is your immovable enforcer badge. With this one, unfortunately, I'm not going to cover sweet spots, which I will explain later why. The focus of this one is to show you how powerful this badge is. And at the end, I'll give you more perspective about this badge. And by the way, with this one, try to watch the video carefully and fully, because if you miss some parts, you might lose the whole context of the video. So let's get right into it. So I think at this point, we all know what it does. It is pretty much like your clamps badge, but works on different animations, works against layups as well, and it gives you better cutoff animations that sometimes can cause ball pickups. So now for the test, I'll be using my animation threshold method, and the goal for this test is to show you how strong the badge is, and let's see its relation to clamps badge. So on this specific setup, at 93 and higher perimeter defense, it will do this exact cutoff animation, but if I drop it to 92 and lower, now the dribbler can blow by. And if it's done exactly at the same angle, it will do the same thing every time. And by the way, don't bother much about the exact numbers. Those thresholds will vary from setup to setup. Now, to test how much the badge can boost your perimeter defense rating to get animations, I'll try to drop the perimeter defense rating. Let's see how low can the rating be and still reach the animation threshold at 93. I know it is kind of confusing, but trust me, you'll get it later. So just a quick recap, without the badge at 93, it will do this all the time, and 92 and below, it will be like this. Now let's see what will happen if I equip bronze with 92. And here you can see, now it can do what a 93 can do. So meaning, that bronze made 92 look like 93. Now let's pull the ratings down more and more, and let's see how low can we go. I tried 91, still can do it. Then I tried 81, 71, 61, 51, and still can do it, and it only ended on 48. So meaning, that bronze badge made 48 look like 93. So it's like adding 44 perimeter defense stat in terms of unlocking animations. And just wanna make it clear, there'll be no physical points that'll be added. I only used animation thresholds as a metric to see how this badge can help us on unlocking animations. And <laughs> don't overthink these values. And to give you more perspective about how strong this immovable enforcer is, I'll show you Clamp's badge test. And by the way, this one here is not a direct comparison. First of all, they were tested on different types of animation, but this will give you a rough idea. So on Clamp's badge, we're talking about two perimeter defense points boost in terms of unlocking animations, and for immovable enforcer, we're talking about around 40. But again, it is not a direct comparison. I can't really say that immovable enforcer is 20 times helpful than Clamp's, but these values here will give you a rough idea on how powerful Immovable Enforcer is. And I believe that power will carry over on other animations that Immovable Enforcer concerns. So now you might ask, Chutes, then what's the sweet spot? Unfortunately, I failed to get it. As you can see there, Bronze already allocated 44 points. Usually, I can only get the sweet spot if Hall of Fame and No Badge is within 25 to 99 range. So again, try not to overthink these numbers. There's a lot of other factors that needs to be considered. The only takeaway I want you to get from this video is that Immovable Enforcer is really powerful and it's worth unlocking. And it's really way way better than Clamps Badge. So let me know in the comment section what's your experience with Immovable Enforcer Badge and you can chip in as well how do you compare it to Clamps Badge or any other feedback about the topic. So that's all for the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.